Hi, I'm Jasper. I use they, them pronouns. I am a rising junior at UCLA studying geography slash environmental studies with a minor in literature and the environment. I guess my interest in the environment didn't really start until about senior year of high school. Like, I peripherally knew that it was an issue, things were going on, I never really focused on it. Um, but in my senior year, I took AP Environmental Science. And from then on, I kind of just discovered like that there's so many, there's just so many layers of it. And the fact that like environmental problems are often rooted in capitalism, they're rooted in like a global system of like differences in equality, that all made me really realize. I really focused on like the maybe one chapter we had on environmental justice. Growing up, I was in a community that did really value like science, that valued STEM. Um, I grew up in an immigrant family. We're South Asian. Um, my parents immigrated from India. Growing up, I thought that there were a lot of messages that said that I should separate science from like my personal views, my personal opinions, that it should be just like hard facts, you know, that science is different from opinions, that science is different from like moral values, from identity, from all those things, when it feels like humanities are often more open to maybe considering those things. And I think that that's just wrong. I think that science really benefits from having people of different perspectives talk about their experiences in it, you know? I'd never seen a center that was just dedicated to like involving people of like marginalized identities, minorities in STEM and really like not just not just like including them, but like valuing us and actually wanting our perspectives and wanting us to do research for them and giving us support for it. Like that is not something I'd ever seen anywhere else. So when I saw it, I sent an email to the director, Aradna, and I think like my email was just like, hey, can I be involved in some kind of way? And like her response, it was just so welcoming. She was just like, yeah, of course. So I started and I came to meetings and everyone there was just really welcoming. Um, and so yeah, that's, that's, that was my introduction to CDLS. I am trans. I am, I think at this point I'm the only openly trans person in CDLS and that has been hard at times. I think in a place where diversity is really recognized, it is hard to be the only one of something. Um, and I'm like hoping that it will change. Of course I am and I'm hoping to be a part of that changing. I'm also disabled, which has been something that's difficult because I'm not always visibly disabled. I sometimes use a cane, I don't always. When I think of diversity, I think the first thing that people often think of is like race. I think people also often think of queer identity and like both of those things are part of my identity but when I think of other things like being disabled that's something that it shouldn't have a negative connotation it has a positive community connotation it should be something I'm able to talk about in these spaces and it's an energy that I'm hoping to bring to CDLS positively in the future. I think the importance of mentorship is seeing someone like you or not, not even exactly like you, someone who has like maybe a similar story or has things you can learn from to really talk to you because I feel like often the role models we have aren't people who we can so directly relate to, they're people who just don't understand the experience. Like I know growing up, like growing up, like even if there were people who are also like people of color like me, um, they probably weren't also queer, they couldn't understand that aspect of my identity. Um, so that was something I struggled a lot with. If it was a standard that all environments were completely inclusive, that we didn't have like an overwhelming amount of white men in science, then we would not need something like this. Um, I think that like it's so unique because it takes that into consideration. Like it realizes that that's one of the major drawbacks, and that that's a perspective we're getting in science, and that that's often creating a very like narrow-minded view of what science could look like, of what research could look like, that doesn't involve the communities that are often most affected. I do hope to go on the grad school path. I want to get my PhD. I do want to be a college professor who is also doing research. Um, so I guess in five years, where will that make me? Maybe like hopefully hit my PhD, but I'm not sure yet. It will depend.